Hello, I'm Sabi, 100% hands-on school. Today our topic is inscribed angle. Our student is, what's your name? Sabuna Ajibari, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Now, I have a question for you. Tell me what is inscribed angle and why the inscribed angle, according to Thales, is a right angle. I mean, I don't know. Do you want to add on? Not really. Uh, I have some candies. No, I don't know that. I don't really want candies anymore, and they're gonna give me cavities, so. Uh, I want a balloon. Oh, you want a balloon? Okay. I have passion for balloons. All right. Okay, so now uh, I'll give you balloon at the end if you can do everything nicely and, satis and satisfactorily. So, what I have, I have a circular object to construct. What is that for? To construct, yeah, to construct, to construct a circle. Oh. I have a paper to create that's the. That's not a paper. That's tons. Yeah, sure. And I have a scissor. And all I need to have to say, good luck. All right. So uh, you said that you're forming a circular object. Right. All right. Then uh, I right. Then I make my circle. Can you hold it for me? Absolutely. I'm here to help. Not give mathematical help, but physical help, huh? I think that should be it. That's my circle, yay. So now, uh, I don't know. Maybe I could construct a diameter, right? Um, oh, wait. I'm not gonna do anything you. with the circle unless I can cut it out, right? Sure. So, okay, I'm just gonna cut away. Okay, I forget that I need the scissors. So, I'm gonna cut this circle out. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, as you said, um, center. All right. Okay. So, so diameter, radius, center. Okay. Those kind of thing will probably help you. This is going to be uh, all determined on how good I am at folding objects in half. If I want to do the center, this is a clever technique I've devised. If you have it, and then have it again, but this time you're going to fold it in a different direction. I didn't quite work out how I planned and just reach out a little more and that should not be it. Okay, that should be it. Hold on. So it's okay. not perfect. So now I think uh, I should construct the diameter. Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Construct the diameter. All right. So I know the diameter from all my lessons of geometry up to this point. Okay. I've trained so long that the diameter is the length between two and the third. Okay. That's going to be the diameter. Now, if I split it up into two, that would give me two radii because I know that the diameter is going to be equal to two all. So now, uh, it meets the circumference or the edge of the circle. 
and points A and B, I'm going to call them. Okay. Because, you know, those are the first two letters of the alphabet, and they mm. are comforting. Mm. Now, I want to, maybe I should construct a random radii. Hmm. Uh, something tells me, my gut tells me that this radii should inch out. Oh, uh, maybe I should use a ruler instead of my own. So now, I want to construct the line segment between A and C. Can you help me uh, uh, hold this down? Okay. Thank you for the physical help. No problem. I mean, my gut tells me we need to connect them. And I can only okay, sure. connect these guys. Yeah. So now, that gives us two triangles to make up a single one. You have to prove that this angle, this angle is a right angle. Okay. Oh, so the sum of these two angles yes, is the right is, angle. Is right? So this angle is the right angle. So I, I, so I, I want you to degrees. prove. I want you to prove that this angle is indeed right. A right angle. That's you need to prove. So this is tricky, but I can tell you some other hint. Well, the, I know that the sum of all the angles. Uh, would uh, be equal to 180 degrees. That's correct. What do you mean all the angles? All the sum of all the angles in A, B, C. What are those angles? Well, hmm. Um, I've learned the Greek alphabet a while ago. Pretty tricky. I've only learned the, like the first three letters. Now I know, and by convenience, there's only three angles. I'm pretty sure I need to know. A. Hmm. Maybe I'm going to call this. Right angle, B for beta, and this guy, uh, how do you write delta again? Oh, like an upside down L. Looked like a nuke. Okay. So, that's going to be gamma. So now, I also know that this is radius, since I drew it from the center all the way to the edge along the circumference. Okay. So, uh, now I've labeled that. Wait. So if gamma is opposite to radius, uh, if uh, angle gamma, if radius is opposite to angle gamma, then this radius must be opposite to an angle of the same magnitude. So uh, this beta 1 and beta 2, I split it into. So that means that beta 2 is actually equal to gamma, which might be some important information. That's right. Okay. Now, I think the same can apply for um, this first triangle because R is opposite to angle alpha, which means that this R must be opposite to angle alpha, which is B1. And we can say B1 is equal to angle alpha. Right. Now, maybe I should take the sum of all these angles to prove this is right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know really what I have to do. Should I take the sum? I'm not sure. Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Okay then, as you say, so there are 180 degrees in a whole triangle, and that's going to be equal to angle alpha plus angle beta 1 plus angle beta 2 plus gamma. So oh. now, I know that alpha is equal to beta 1 and beta 2 is equal to gamma, so 180 degrees is equal to 2b1 plus 2b2. Could I have some extra space to work on? Yeah, sure. So, if I know my algebra correctly from the previous time that I counted you a few years ago, we would have to divide both sides by 2 in order to simplify it. Uh, 180 divided by 2 is going to be 90. So, B1 plus B2, which is exactly these angles, the sum of those is going to be 90 degrees, or a right angle. Wow. Yes. Now, can you now, yeah, good job, good job. Can you please now tell me what is, what does it mean to be in a square angle? Well, considering... If you call a shape inside 
a circle inscribed in a circle, I would say an angle. Uh, wait, so a shape has all its vertices on the uh, on the circumference of the circle. So that makes it. Um, so that's what makes it inscribed. So what I think is that the two rays, the two rays that the angle is formed by is going to be at a point on the circumference for the angle to count as inscribed. So this, uh, this student had no understanding of inscribed angle in the beginning of today's class. However, at the end, he understood the definition of inscribed angle, not by memorization, but through some hands-on experiment because memorization, according to our philosophy, is a crime. So that's how a student should learn the math, not by memorization, but through some hands-on experiment.